Hey, and welcome to Drifters on Emergency Power. So, due to circumstances, um, I'm not going to be playing a huge main title. Um, we're just gonna throw something in that I have on CD that's been dust uh, collecting dust on a shelf, and we'll see where that goes. The downside is that it's not going to be like high octane energy, but um, as a bonus, the episode's not going to be as long, maybe? Um, we'll see. So, uh, throw it in! Alright, back to Humongous. It's a junior arcade. Uh huh. Hang on tight to those balloons, Pep. Uh oh. Oh well, there Come they go. Come on, Pep. We've gotta go get those balloons. Uh, I don't know if this is a different like set of animators or if this is before or after Putt Putt goes to the moon, but this game seems like it's been animated differently or just drawn slightly different than that game. Um, let's play a new game. Hey, look at that! <laughs> Such an old. I guess that's not how that works. That works. Are you sure you want to take that name off the list? Alright, so let's go back to the old arcade standard. So if I remember correctly, this game is basically Brick Breaker. Um, just with an extreme kindergarten twist. Come on, Pep! There's plenty to pop! <laughs> Uh, exit. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, yeah, that's basically the premise. Is it's Brick Breaker, in which we um, anger PETA by tossing Pep from our seat, bouncing off of our cushion springs, and into the balloons. Uh, and then catching him again to finish the level. Also to note, the premise of this game is not collect the balloons that we released, it's if we can't have the balloons, no one can. So there you go. If we can't, <laughs> because they're not our balloons anymore, we must destroy all the balloons. Um, Alright, so it doesn't look like the... So the main challenge to this game for me, as an adult, <laughs> is to see how far I can get on just one life. Uh. But I will sacrifice one life just to show you um, how the developers emotionally, like, kind of... Uh, corner children into continuing to do well in this game. Uh, <laughs> Come on, Pep. There's plenty to pop. <laughs> so we'll pop a few, and then um, oh no, Pep, you got too far. <gasps> the face Come of death. On, Oh, how sad he is! No. So, yeah, then they throw a sad face on a cute puppy, and immediately every child in the world wants to do better and not drop the dog. <laughs> That's the wrong way, putt putt. Right. We need to do something really fun. So we haven't gotten the game over yet, and already we're at, what, 952? 
Um, I wonder when we're gonna get some new balloons. Cause so far they've all been solid colors. Oof. Almost got away from me there. You know, despite the fact that, like, it's not riveting gameplay, the soundtrack still bumps, man. I don't care if you don't like it. I mean, it does end, which is kind of sad, but, uh... Ready to do something really fun? Got some techno going on. Yeah, the cool thing about like all these really old 90s games was that, you know, it didn't really require um, a lot of like peripheral tech. There were, um, sh uh, what's it called? Uh, flight simulator game, so like um, fighter jets and stuff like that. Those were really popular um, video game concepts. But for those, you needed a lot of um, Come on, Pep. like uh, joysticks and other things. Even if you wanted to emulate, I mean, you could play it with a keyboard and a mouse, but it just didn't feel right, you know. And people that bought those games back then, they were in it for the. <laughs> They were in it for the long haul, and so they, you know, it was a, it was an unspoken requirement that if you wanted to play, um, God, what was that one game? It was like called, not Fury, but um, it's one of those flight games. And if you wanted to play one of those types of games, then like, you had to, you had to get that, you know, you had to get that joystick, that, that joystick. You just kind of go full throttle and do the whole uh, loops, shoot down the puddle jumpers. Come on, Pep! There's plenty to pop. Oh, I'm at 165. I have to beat 952. That's the high score. So the unspoken, uh, so these kind of brick breaker games um, kind of remind me of like a, a, an old childhood goal for these kind of for brick breaker games in general, which was to try to get um, in this case pep, but usually it's the marble or just the generic ball to um, into a position where the game basically plays itself. So if you can make a gap early on in the level, then um, Pep will just kind of bounce around up in the stratosphere, and you don't have to move your you don't have to move your cursor at all. Pretty soon, all the things are popped, and all you have to do is catch Ready them again. To do something really fun? <laughs> so those were always kind of the the challenges because it was super satisfying to just see the ball kind of run around up top like this and just kind of combo it up in the sky while you just sat back and just watched the chaos happen. Oh, come on. Is it too high? Can Pep Sprite not get past the, the pink balloon? Ugh. This level is very situational because Valentine's Day is coming up. Yeah. I guess white's a unofficial color of Valentine's Day. It is in Japan because they split up into two different days. Ready to do something You've really got one fun? day where the 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 man does a bunch of nice things for the woman. And then they actually have a day where the woman does a bunch of nice things for the man. Known as White Day. Uh. 
though I think the man still does a bunch of nice things for the woman on that day. So, uh, they, the, the, the woman definitely lucks out in Japan on the days of love. So yeah, in the coming, so in the next episode, um, uh, um, again, it's gonna be just another relax, just another relax, sit back, chill session, um, but I'll try to keep the episode, I'll try to keep the episode short, so it's not complete agony. Oh, oh, got it. Um, so yeah, we'll, I'll do this bonus thing while the credits roll, but, um, even though it's not the normal sort of lineup of games or even the same type of, um, it's not the same type of games, uh, you should still, you know, come on in, uh, join on next time, and just, you know, get a, get a cup of coffee, maybe, uh, maybe grab some, some actual popcorn or something, I don't know, however you like to relax, and just, uh, just chill. It's not gonna be this type of a game, it's actually gonna have some linear aspect to it, but... still cute, and I'm very surprised at how much detail they put into something that almost had no meaning back in the day. So, yeah. Um, I hope to see you next episode, and um, have a relaxing rest of the day.